Perhaps due to an extremely varied history, sacred geometry seems to now have as many interpretations as there are interpreters. Some view it as a simple mathematical curiosity. Others believe it to be a system of philosophy that is intrinsically tied to the very existence of this universe. Some have approached it with strict mathematical analysis and rigor. Others have delighted in the philosophical implications that seem to be whispered through this language of numbers and geometric form. Architects have built monuments to the gods based wholly on its proportional precepts. And composers have created entire symphonies to convey its mathematical scripture in sound. Yet the majorities of people pass into and back out of this life without ever being aware of the patterns that build the foundation of the matter in this universe. Although many ancient cultures were clearly familiar with sacred geometry, it is commonly believed that the ancient Egyptians may have been the first culture to recognize and employ its mathematical proportions. It is believed that the annual flooding of the River Nile, pictured here, wreaked havoc with land ownership boundaries on a yearly basis. Amongst other difficulties, the continual destruction of land ownership boundaries made accurate taxation a near impossibility. A systematical approach that could efficiently survey the land by using only a single reference point was required, and thus geometry was born. Geometry, interpreted literally, means earth measure, or to measure the earth, and the practical application of needing to survey land on a regular basis may have spawned the first true mathematical system. It is commonly believed that the first geometric revelation that occurred to the Egyptians was the fact that a rope with 12 knots tied in its length at equal distances from one another could be easily employed to generate a 90 degree angle. By bending this rope at the third knot, and then bending it again at the seventh knot, the twelfth knot can be brought around to touch the first. If the three sections of rope are pulled taut, the bend created at the third knot forms a perfect 90 degree angle. As long as a single point of reference could be determined, such as direct line of sight to a permanent marker beyond the bounds of the flood plain, the 90 degree angle established by this procedure was all that was required to survey the land with empirical certainty. This common operation of the Egyptians, which later took on the same holy significance as laying the foundation stone of a temple, was in fact the first known usage of the Pythagorean theorem and was put to use by the Egyptians thousands of years before the Greek Pythagoras ever lived. By the pinnacle of Egyptian culture, every aspect of life had been imbued with spiritual significance, and geometry was no exception. Geometry, besides being used for surveying land, became a fundamental basis for the creation of all forms of craft. Strict geometric canons were developed, declaring rigorous guidelines for the creation of architectural plans, wall carvings, sculptures, jewelry, and even for the creation of ceremonial vessels.